Good morning to you. It is Monday, August 21st, and here's what you need to know for your week ahead with this week's Monday Minute. I'm your host, Amy Butch on Siegfried, and let's dive right in. First, let's start off with the Women's World Cup. Despite their distaste for their coach and the soccer federation, Spain won its first ever Women's World Cup, defeating England 1-0 yesterday. Olga Carmona was the hero scoring the match's only goal for Spain. But tragedy struck as she learned shortly after the game that her father had passed away. Reports say that Carmona's father is understood to have passed away on Friday, but that it was kept from her. Carmona's Instagram post confirmed that the news was withheld of her ahead of Sunday's game. Another story to note, an awkward moment with Spanish soccer president. During the Women's World Cup traditional on-field medal ceremony, the president of the Spanish Soccer League, well, he kissed veteran midfielder Jenny Hermoso on the lips, and that has caused quite a controversy and, of course, was really uncomfortable. Let's talk Major League Soccer. Lionel Messi has dominated the league in his first month with the MLS. His inner Miami FC team won the League's Cup this weekend, beating Nashville. Reese Witherspoon, who is co-owner of Nashville SC, and Nicole Kidman were on hand to join Miami's owner, Victoria Beckham and David Beckham. A fun fact, none of the messy fueled victories have helped Miami in the actual standings as they sit in last place in Major League Soccer. The League's Cup is a tournament put on by the Confederation qualifier to the World Cup, FIFA World Cup, and it features 29 MLS clubs and 18 Liga Mexico teams in a World Cup style tournament. But in all fairness, regardless of whether these count toward the, the, the overall standings or not, these wins are a huge step in the right direction for inner Miami. Before we go in tennis, 19-year-old Coco Goff is holding her own, becoming the youngest player to win the Cincinnati Open Tournament. It is her third title this year. And lastly, in news of things we wish we could do now, let alone at 71, Seattle Seahawks head coach Pete Carroll was caught on camera throwing an impressive touchdown pass during practice which he had fans like Snoop Dogg and Will Farrow commenting, saying he's making his young players vying for a job look bad. Stay tuned for that and everything else we have coming this week at lastnightsgame.com. And of course, if you want something to uplift you today on Monday morning, make sure you check out our su- Smile Worthy Sports, which happen every Sunday. We post every Sunday morning with something happy happening in the world of sports. So I encourage you to check that out if you missed it yesterday on, on any pl- platform for social media at lastnightsgame.com. Have a fantastic week ahead.